Hello all, welcome back. Today in this video, I'll be solving differentiation of sin x with respect to x from first principle. We all know that the differentiation of sin x is cos x, but how? So we'll do that today. Before I start deriving, one should know two important formulas which are used when differentiating sin x with respect to x from first principle. And those two are That is sin c minus sin t is equal to 2 cos c plus t by 2 into sin c minus t by 2. And one more relation sin theta by theta is equal to 1. So initially y is equal to sin x. Differentiation in the term there is a change in value. So now the value of y changes from y plus delta y and the value of x changes from x plus delta x. After this, I'll just shift this y from left hand side to right hand side. What is y now? So if you just go back, the equation 1 says that y is equal to sin x. So I'll just change it. If you just read out the equation which we have got now, delta y is equal to sin of x plus delta x minus sin x. This is exactly as similar to sin c minus sin d. So the value of x plus delta x can be considered as c and the x can be considered as d. Sin c minus sin d. So we use this formula replace c by x plus delta x and replace d by x. I have written 2 cos c plus d by 2. What is c? x plus delta x plus d. What is d? x. c plus d. x plus delta x by 2. And now sin c minus d. What is c? x plus delta x minus d. What is d? x. So in the next step, I'll just add these two x and x which will become 2x and I'll just cancel this x and minus x. You have to take two important steps now. First step is to divide through the equation by delta x. I do it now. The second important step is in the denominator multiply and divide by 2. So there is no change in the value because you are multiplying 2 and also dividing by 2. And now if you observe carefully, so this is sine of delta x by 2 divided by delta x by 2 is very much similar to the equation sine theta by theta is equal to 1 where delta x by 2 is theta. So this whole thing will be equal to 1. And now the equation becomes and now you have come to the last step that is to apply the limits. So apply the limits to 0. Because I have applied the limits, so delta x will be 0 and delta y by delta x will be changed to dy by dx. And now simply I can cancel this 2 and this 2 and this 2 and this 2. So x plus 0 is x itself. Cos into x is cos x. So the differentiation of sin x is cos x is finally derived with the help of first principle. Thank you for watching. So in the next video, I will be differentiating cos x with respect to x from the first principle. Keep watching. Stay tuned.